Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chris here, founder and CEO of Trade Masters. So today we'll be looking at uh, construction stock. So this is called as uh, HD Infrastructure Engineering. And uh, this belongs to the segment of uh, construction. Okay, and uh, this is a small cap industry. So the market cap is usually around the 4,000 crore. So it's well below the 5,000 crore mark. So it comes under the classification of a small cap industry. And the current market price of HG Infra Engineering is uh, around the 675 rupees per share. Okay, so let's get into the technical viewpoint. <clears throat> so, if you look on the past uh, one and a half years, the stock has been trading in a completely sideways market. So, if you uh, plot it in a technical pattern, so we call this as a box pattern. Right, so the stock has been trading in this box pattern for the last. Uh, close to one and a half years. So it started in this box pattern somewhere around the uh, first week or last week of November 2021. And uh, we are in February 2023. That's almost close to 1.3 to 1.4 years, right? So it is uh, it is more than a year time period. And uh, somewhere around the, the starting week of January, we have a clear cut breakout in uh, this SG infrastructure. So the stock came out of this uh, sideways market and uh, it went uh, made a high of 720 rupees and it gave a retracement as well. So this is going to be a good uh, breakout zone because it is, uh, the the sideways market has been uh, carrying forward for almost uh, close to a year, more than a year period. And uh, we also have two to three candles that is closing above the sideways market, right? So basically, this portion that is at uh, 600 and uh, close to 630 to 620 levels is going to act as a strong level of resistance. And the stock has been trading above that resistance for close to almost uh, three to four candles. Okay, so the time frame that I'm using is a weekly time frame. So each candle represents one week of uh, uh, one trading week. Okay, and almost the three candles closed above this uh, resistance. So this is going to be a good breakout as per the technical standards. Okay, so I'm switching over to uh, daily time frame to show exactly what's happening in detail. So this is a sideways market if you look in the daily chart. And look over here, this is basically a retest of it. So this was acting as a good level of. Uh, uh, you know, resistance previously. And the stock current market price of the stock is around uh, 675 rupees. And if you look at the breakout uh, zone, so the previous high was over here. So this is going to be considered as a breakout, immediate breakout zone. And uh, the sideways uh, breakout is going to be around 650. Okay, so uh, we have two buying opportunities. So the first buy is going to be around 650, and second buy is going to be around the recent breakout that is at 620 or 625. So the current market price of the stock is a little bit higher than the best buying zone. So, but still, uh, the target is going to be uh, you know much much higher than this. So, uh, uh, if you are asking me, I want to enter into this particular stock somewhere around 666 uh, rupees per share. So that that was my entry point. I entered a little bit higher, a little bit on the higher side, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not worried about it because uh, the target for I'm increasing for the stock is also a little bit on the higher side. Okay. So uh, uh, my recommendation is, uh, if you are planning to uh, invest in this particular strip, take 10 or 20 percent of the current market price of uh, 675 rupees, and uh, keep on adding it in tips till 620. Like I uh, mentioned in many of my earlier videos, uh, adding it in tips is going to be a wealth creation because uh, your average price is going to come down right and uh, you will be systematically investing so for example when you are having 10,000 if you systematically invest uh, at each and every single tip right your average price is going to uh, keep on coming down and uh, you will also be uh, you know minimizing your risk to uh, reward ratio as well so when, when the risk is uh, basically if you are buying it at 600 sort of rupees for example if the risk is almost uh, 30 points and if you keep on buying it down it dips systematically, your risk is going to be 25 20 points. So, depending upon the stop loss, the stop loss is not going to change, but your average buying price is going to change. Okay, so that is the beauty of uh, buying it in dips in stock market. That, that is why, uh, you know, many of uh, uh, the investors, the professional investors, would say keep on adding it in dips if you find a good technical pattern that is fine. Okay, so the same scenario is uh, going applicable for the stock as well. Keep on adding it in dips, and 620 is going to be my best buying price. And uh, the current market price is 675, so don't worry about it, just buy and keep on adding it to if you are, uh, you know, willing to take this trip. So coming to the targets, my first target is going to be, uh, 750 is going to be my first target, and the second target is going to be 880, so that is a little bit close above the previous side. So these are the two targets what I have placed for a short term investment. So let me plot it over here. 
So this is going to be my target one. That is uh, 750 rupees. That is going to be my target two and final target of 800 rupees. So this is going to be my second target and my final target. Okay. So if you are calculating it from uh, you know the profit potential, so let's say like I'm uh, buying it at 620. That is at my best buying price. If it comes down to 620 once again. So I'll be making a comfortable uh, return on investment of uh, 42 percentage, right? And uh, like I mentioned, this is going to be a short-term investment, so the maximum uh, holding period is going to be close to nine or ten months. So ten months is going to be the maximum uh, holding period for HC infrastructure engineering to give a profit of 42 percentage. Okay, so uh, let's uh, look at some of the fundamentals as well. So like I uh, mentioned the earlier of this video, the market cap is around 4,000 crores. So that uh, class is as a uh, uh, you know uh, small cap industry, and the stock PE and the ROC ratio is also pretty good. So there is uh, nothing uh, you know uh, worrying about it. It's a good stock to hold. And if we look at the quarterly results for the past uh, ten quarters, uh, stock has been consistently giving good returns. Right. So it has been consistently generating good profits. Good profits, and uh, it has been consistently delivering uh, good sales, and that is in turn reflected in its uh, balance sheet. So the profit. Uh, Sorry, uh, the net profit after tax is, you know, pretty good for a construction company. And if you look at the profit and loss statement for the past uh, uh, close to six to seven years, right? So the profit is also increasing. Right? So on a year-on-year -year basis, the profit keep, keeps on increasing. And if you look at the sales also, year-on-year -year basis, the sales also has been increasing by roughly 30 to 40 percentage, right? So previous year it was uh, 2610 and this year is going to be 3750. So the sales also, from the sales perspective it is also increasing rapidly uh, from 30 to 40 percentage. So the company has been generating consistent sales and uh, it is directly reflecting in its uh, balance sheet as well. The company has been generating consistent profits as well. Okay. And uh, coming to uh, the share earning pattern, if you look over here, the promoters uh, at March 2014 they were voting only 73.98 percentage shares. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, like I mentioned it many, uh, many times before, if the promoters are voting more than 50 percent shares in a particular company, it means that their management is pretty strong and they are not backing up. But in this particular case, the promoters are voting 74 percent at the start of uh, March 2022, and it, and it gets better. In March 2020, uh, sorry, in March 2020, they were voting uh, 74 percent, and in March 2021, they bought back uh, uh, 0.5 percent of you know uh, the stocks so they basically bought back some of the stocks and they have increased their holding potential the promoters have increased the holdings in their company so this is a strong indication that uh, the company management is pretty good and uh, it is going to you know uh, take the company to new highs okay and in march 2020 the uh, dis are holding 21 percentage uh, close to 21 percentage of uh, shares in hse Trump. And they gradually decreased it because of the profit booking that we witnessed in the past uh, couple of uh, quarters. Right. And uh, right now they are holding uh, uh, 14 percentage. And if you look at the beauty of it, see, it has been stagnant for almost uh, three quarters and right now it is increasing. So I believe uh, the DIS can, will be also coming back into this particular stock in the near uh, few quarters as well. Okay. And if you look at the FIS as well, the FIS also uh, were holding uh, 0 0.42. And over the past 10 quarters, it has increased so by 0.2 percentage. So, this is also a good factor. And uh, the FIS also uh, can come back into the particular stock, and uh, we can expect the FIS also to increase their holding potential by close to one or two percentage in the near, next near uh, few quarters. Okay, so let's get back into the technical chart. So, uh, to summarize today's technical viewpoint, uh, SE Infra Engineering has been in the sideways market for the past uh, 1 to 1.5 years, 1.5 years of, uh, period approximately. And we have a playback breakout at the starting of this year, and uh, we missed uh, this breakout, but uh, the stock is still uh, trading close to the uh, breakout zone. So it is once again a good opportunity to enter into the particular suit at a short term investment. And uh, my best buying price is going to be 620. Sorry. My best buying price is going to be 640. The current market price is 675, but still it is a, a good uh, you know, value for uh, uh, money at this particular case. So at the current market price also you can enter 20 to 10 or 20 or 30 percent depending upon your risk capital and keep on adding it till dip still 620. So my first target is going to be 752 and my second target is going to be 880. So these are the two targets what we have identified for HC for the short term investment. 
and it is going to be a 10 month holding period uh, stock. So uh, be prepared to hold the stock for a period of 10 months to get a returns of 42 percentage. So the final return on investment is 44 42 percentage. I know it is uh, you know uh, not the return on investment what you are expecting, but uh, you know considering the fact that it is a construction company and its uh, you know uh, profit is uh, solely depending on the sales that is generating. A 42 percentage return on investment on a yearly basis in a construction company is pretty good return on investment. So you need to you know identify the sector in which you are using. So in the sector, you know actually price performing really good. It has uh, generated consistent uh, uh, sales growth by 30 to 40 percent in the past uh, 10 quarters in the past six years as well. So it is a pretty good company to hold for the short term. The only risk point what I see over here is uh, the you know uh, the recession that is going to be hit from March or June. So <clears throat> Once the recession kicks in, I, India is not going to get impacted by on a huge extent like US, but still it is going to decrease the buying power of the middle class people and some of the upper class people as well. So that in turn can reflect in the you know uh, slowdown of the sales of uh, HE infra. So uh, we can expect a thick, small decline in the profits and uh, that uh, can be reflecting in the charts as well. So that is the only worry point. But you know, for the next uh, short term, that is uh, for the next uh, two to three years or four, sorry, uh, two to three months or four months, Nifty, I believe is going to be bullish and that in turn will uh, take the chain try as well because uh, most of the stocks will be going in line with the Nifty chart, right? So almost 60 to 70 percent of stocks, uh, if Nifty is bullish, the stocks also will be bullish, even though it is, it is not trading in the future options. So that is the entire uh, underlying beauty of the market. Okay. So the trend is going to be remaining the same for uh, you know all the fundamentally good stocks. The trend is going to remain the same. If the market is bullish. The fundamentally good stocks also will be bullish. So that is the underlying cost of profit. And I believe that the infra will be giving a minimum at least of target one before uh, the recession kicks in. So that is the entire uh, you know viewpoint on the infra, and uh, that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint. I hope this video was useful, and I hope you learned some new informative things from this video. And if you're watching our video for the first time, please do give us a like and uh, please do subscribe to your channel and show us your love and support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye bye, and thank you for watching.